I'm a student here at UMBC. Um, this past semester, we were in the Biology 300L lab here, and our goal was to raise awareness about a crisis that you can't even see. So current antibiotics are starting to become inadequate, and the number of resistant infections are on the rise. Um, if we do nothing about this problem, then it's projected by 2050 that we'll have 300 million premature deaths, which is more than cancer and diabetes combined. We're here right now asking the general public what they know or what they think they know about the antibiotic crisis. Do you know what antibiotics are used for? Uh, yeah, antibiotics uh, used for treating bacteria. Are antibiotics. Uh, antibiotics are something that can be used to fight infection in the body. Antibiotics. antibiotics are pills or drugs that kill bacteria. So we want to take our whole course because in case that there are any left off bacteria when we stop taking them, those will like mutate and because they haven't been killed off, they'll grow larger and they'll keep on infecting the body. Antibiotic resistance. Um, I know you, uh, that you develop resistance to antibiotics when you don't use them well. So let's say that you take a drug and it kills a majority of bacteria, but somehow a gene mutation prevents one of them from being killed off. Because that one has survived, they will prolif they will like augment in their size, and suddenly they won't be able to be killed off by that same drug. Um, what is antibiotic resistance? It is when your body gets immune to a certain type of antibiotic. It builds up a resistance against it since it um, wasn't used through its whole mm -hmm. course. So I feel it's necessary to prescribe antibiotics when we have a patient that has um, maybe, for example, a wound, and a wound that's infected usually is hot, it has warmth to it, there may be some redness, there may be some discharge or some swelling, some pain or discomfort. All of those things can typically indicate infection, and um, I think an antibiotic at that point is usually necessary. We should always finish our course of antibiotics because bacteria can become stronger if they don't die. Um, so if we start the antibiotic and we get partway through and we still have, an, uh, we still have bacteria that are present, um, they can reproduce and become stronger. Um, and then the infection can be even harder to treat um, the next time we go to treat it with the same antibiotic. Antibiotic resistance can occur when we have bacteria that um, become stronger. So if we are treating them with um, an antibiotic and they somehow genetically survive the treatment, they can reproduce and make more of themselves um, that have whatever specialty they needed to prevent themselves from dying from that antibiotic. And then they again reproduce, make more of themselves along that line and they can become stronger to the point where um, that antibiotic won't work anymore for them. And if we get to a point where, you know, we have multiple bacteria out there that are no longer treated by these antibiotics, um, we may not be able to treat infections anymore.